वेलकम टू जेड टी क्लासेस टूडे वी लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ किडनी दैट इज नेफ्रॉन विल स्टार्ट विद कप शेप सेक कॉल्ड बोमेंस कैप्सूल और ग्लोमेरुलर कैप्सूल अटैच विद इट इज द ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच इज proximal convoluted tubule or in short pct where the major amount of filtrates are absorbed and the important part that is the next part is loop of henle also called loop of nephron so this new loop of henle it's uh, majorly to absorb back the water and uh, sodium ions and chlorine ions and in this tube like structure the last part is your dct that is distal convoluted tubule again here some secretion and reabsorption is taking place and this ends up uh, in your collecting duct so with this collecting duct lot of nephron units are connected so this uh, collecting duct will take the filtrate which is mainly the urine which is left to the renal pelvis in collecting duct also some amount of water is getting reabsorbed so this is the main tube structure where the filtrate is moving but this filtrate is being produced from the blood separated from the blood and the major amount about 97 percent is getting reabsorbed by the capillaries of the blood so let's make those uh, blood vessels so we'll start with this is your renal artery is there from renal artery you have got this is glomerulus is there which is the coiled capillaries inside the bowman's capsule and the vessel which is uh, originating that is this particular vessel we are talking about this vessel is slightly thicker this is efferent uh, artery is there this is slightly thicker than efferent vesicle hai na so isse jo hai wo beta thoda sa zyada thick hogi and this is what is creating the pressure and because of this pressure only in the glomerulus the filtrate is getting uh, separated out and ending up in bowman's capsule so let's make this vessel slightly thicker now this vessel which is leaving the glomerulus now this is coiling back this is coiling at this uh, proximal convoluted tubule and distal convoluted tubules and reabsorbing the water and minerals and this again is coiling around the loop of henle to absorb the salts and water which are excreted in excess amount so let's first draw this uh, capillaries around the convoluted tubules so this capillaries uh, are also called as peritubular capillaries peri is perimeter surrounding it tubular is around tub tubes and capillaries because these are thin vessels and reabsorbing the uh, salts and water let's draw them around loop of henle also so this uh, while drawing you have to make few capillaries going above the tubes few going underneath the tubes and it's a junction or network is there a net shape is being formed and these are ending up into the renal vein so this is what is complete diagram of nephron is there so labeling part is left let's start with renal artery so this blood from renal artery it's going to glomerulus through your afferent arteriole okay so afferent arteriole is slightly thicker from here the blood is going into glomerulus and leaving the glomerulus by afferent arteriole so this cup shape is your bowman's capsule and the arteries which is leaving is afferent arteriole so if you will observe this again so afferent that starting with a you have to draw it slightly thicker than the efferent which is leaving the glomerulus the next one which will make is this is pct or proximal convoluted tubule 
this loop which is forming down below is loop of henle or also called as nephron loop on the top this is dct or distal convoluted tubule and this full tube like structure this is your collecting tubule now in this collecting tubule this branches which you are seeing these are connected to other nephrons so in one collecting tubules a number of nephrons are connected and they all are uh, giving out the condensed filtrate that's filtrate after the absorption and this all is going into the renal pelvis so this is basically what urine is forming and this urine is ending up in renal pelvis so all these blood vessels which are around your pct dct and loop of henle these are all capillaries and these are around in the perimeters of tubule so these are called as peritubular capillaries so all these capillaries they are now ending up into these blood vessels which is taking this blood and joining it to the uh, inferior vena cava or the main vein so this is what you call as renal veins now this nephron which is basic unit of kidney so in this nephron the upper part this is in cortex and the lower part this is found in medulla you know same we are showing with the line so upper part is found in cortex lower part in medulla and this is what is your complete diagram of nephron so i hope you have enjoyed and learned how to draw beautiful well labeled diagram of nephron thanks for watching